It was a day of sorrow, day of sadness. The whole island was shocked, there was no doubt about it, but it was felt more over on the western part of the island. I couldn't understand how well I felt. I felt better in the water than I'd felt all day long. It was as if it wasn't me. It wasn't me in the water. Like I was looking on but not there. My brother Johnny was ebbing away. He said, I'm finished. Then he died. As if he blew out a candle. Can no two company long imagine? You'll keep company with me till morning. Was it me out there that night? The weakest? The one that was still sick? I kept one hand on my brother's body and one on the boat. The sea kept going over my head but I never felt the cold once. Strange, but time went very fast that night. It seemed to speed by like a dream. How I didn't lose the head. Even when I was rescued and my brother was dead beside me. It was like a dream. We lost seven of our family. A father and a husband, brothers and sons, sisters and daughters. My mother was never right after that. She would talk to herself and be up all the night with her rosary beads praying. A woman of grief, adrift. There are nights now and if I think about it at all there's no sleep for me. How did I survive? How did I come through it? I can't say. There was nothing in myself between life and death. Nothing. I begged God to save me. But she couldn't believe that he was the survivor. Because he was the man that couldn't swim. And yet he survived. Did you ever hear young folk laughing coming home from the lagon or from Scotland? Then you never heard gladness in a laugh. And if you heard a whole boat full of it. John Rogers with narrow eyes searches into the grey dark. Back over his shoulder he flung a laugh. But she struck. And for one terrible moment, silence. There's nothing but the breathing of prayer. Did you ever hear such a thing? The sea has her. She's over. In the chair for war or none. Be